Hey guys, it's Bethany from ABQ Creations, and I'm really excited because today I get to teach you my leaf stitch tutorial. And these are great autumn cowls. I love the way the leaf pattern flows in this. This is a thicker one than what my other video is, and I'll link to that down below. I made a version with buttons that you can find, and I also made this version, which is an infinity cowl. It's not as long, so it fits tight, more, a little more snug around the neck. And then it has a wider pattern to it. I added an extra leaf into the pattern. If you have any questions on this pattern, check out the other video. It might fill in some of the gaps for you if you're trying to understand how this pattern works up. I definitely recommend this pattern for intermediate crocheters. It's a little more, I try to make it a little more quick of a video, so you have to really follow along and know what you're doing. If you have trouble with your front post or back post double crochets, I will link to a video down below where I can show you how to go through and do front post and back post double crochets. You also need to be pretty comfortable with half double crochets and increasing and decreasing with front post and back post double crochets. Here are the supplies that you'll need for this tutorial. A crochet hook. Today I'm using a six and a half millimeter size crochet hook. Yarn. For my tutorial I'm using Pound of Love yarn from Lion Brand. Scissors and a needle for weaving in your ends. Let's get started. To get started with our Infinity Autumn Cowl, we're going to do a chainless double crochet foundation. So if you don't know how to do one, I've got it linked down below but you'll need to know how to do that for this video. I also start with a chain three. In the video, I started with a chain four, but just letting you know, you can do either. We're gonna start with 51 chainless double crochet foundation stitches. Once you have your 51 foundation stitches, we are going to chain two and turn our work. We're gonna start, our edges are always gonna start the same, so we're gonna do three half double crochets. Followed by a back post double crochet. And then we're going to do a front post double crochet. And now we're going to start our pattern. So we're going to do seven back post double crochets. Okay, once we have our seven back post double crochets, we're gonna to start to decrease our leaf. So we're going to do a front post double crochet decrease into the next two stitches, followed by six front post double crochets. And then we're going to do another front post double crochet decrease over the next two stitches. Then we're going to do seven back post double crochets. Thank you. 
Now we're going to continue on with our leaf pattern again. So we're going to decrease by doing a front post double crochet decrease over the next two stitches and six front post double crochets. followed by a front post double crochet decrease. And then to finish off our first row, we're going to do seven back post double crochets, and then we'll do our edge. So now to finish our edge, we're going to do a front post double crochet, and that's going to be a straight line all the way up on our the front of our cowl. Then we're going to do a back post double crochet, and we're going to finish off every row with three half double crochets. So this is what you should have for your first row. After you finish that row, chain two, turn your work, and start with three half double crochets. Next, do a front post double crochet, followed by a back post double crochet. This will always be the start of your edge when you're working on the wrong side. So when you're looking at the back of your work, you're going to always start with three half double crochets followed by a front post double crochet and then a back post double crochet. Now we're going to start our leaf pattern. So we're going to do seven front post double crochets. Now we'll work our decrease from the back of our leaf. So we're going to do a back post double crochet decrease. Don't forget to go around both these stitches from the previous decrease. So you're going around that decrease stitch and then you're going to do a back post double crochet, finish off that um, back post double crochet decrease into the next stitch. Now we're going to do four back post double crochets. followed by a back post double crochet decrease. So we're going to start into this stitch and then we're going to finish off that back post double crochet decrease around that last decrease. Do seven front post double crochets. Okay, we're going to work on our next decrease for our next leaf. So again, we're going to do a back post double crochet decrease. Followed by four back post double crochets. Okay. 
and then a back post double crochet decrease. And then we're going to do seven front post double crochets. And then we're going to finish off our round just like we will every other round from here on out on the wrong side. We're going to do a back post double crochet followed by a front post double crochet and then finish the row with three half double crochets. Chain two, turn your work. For the right side, when we start every single row from here on out on the right side, as you're looking at your work, you're going to start with three half double crochets, followed by a back post double crochet, and then a front post double crochet. So this is how you will start every round or every row on the right side. Now we're going to start into our leaf pattern. So we're going to actually start up the stem of the next leaf on this side. So we're going to work three back post double crochets. Next, we're going to work a front post double crochet and then three more back post double crochets. From here we want to continue to decrease our leaf, so we're going to do a front post double crochet decrease over the next two stitches and then we'll do two front post double crochets followed by another front post double crochet decrease. We again want to work up a stem so we're going to do three back post double crochets followed by a front post double crochet and then three more back post double crochets. Again we want to decrease our leaf so we're going to do a front post double crochet decrease followed by two front post double crochets and then we're going to end with a front post double crochet decrease. Continue on with that row and do three back post double crochets, a front post double crochet, and three more back post double crochets. Back here we're going to end our right side the way that you would end every future right side from here on out. So as you're looking at the front of your work, you want to end every single row like this. We're going to do a front post double crochet, followed by a back post double crochet, and then three half double crochets. I'm not going to continue to show you how to do each row at the beginning and end from here on out. I'm just going to concentrate on the leaf pattern. If you have any questions, try to refer back earlier in the video. But I'm going to continue on and I'll just show from the leaf, from the start of the leaf pattern.
For the next row, for the leaf pattern, again, I've already done my three half double crochets, a front, I'm sorry, I've done my three half double crochets, a front post double crochet, and a back post double crochet. And now we're going to do three front post double crochets. We want to continue to work on that stem of the new leaf, so we're going to do a back post double crochet. And then we're going to do three more front post double crochets. We now want to work a back post double crochet decrease over the next two stitches. And then we're going to do another back post double crochet decrease right away. Next, we want to continue on with the leaf pattern, so just repeat what we did and do the three front post, a back post, three front post double crochets. Decrease on this leaf and then go ahead and finish out with your last stem. I will meet back with you at the next round. After you finish the previous round, and you complete your ends where you do your three half double crochet, your back post double crochet, and then your front post double crochet. We're going to start on to the next row of our leaf repeat. So I'm just going to show you from here until the end of the leaf, and then you're going to continue that across, um, and you're going to finish and start with this part section of the pattern. So we're going to do three back post double crochets. And we're going to do a front post double crochet. We're going to chain one and do another front post double crochet around that same post. Then we're going to do three back post double crochets. And then you're going to find, do the final decrease here on the top of this leaf. So we're going to do a front post double crochet decrease over the next two stitches. And then you're going to repeat this pattern across until you get to this front post double crochet for our border. So once you get to your border stitch, go ahead and finish that row, chain two, turn your work, start your border on the next row for the, the wrong side of your work, and then get once you get to that first back post double crochet, then we're going to start our leaf pattern for this row. So again, I'm going to take you up until this leaf, until the end of the leaf that we finished on the last row, and then you're going to repeat this until your next, until this last back post double crochet. So to start, we're going to do three back post double crochets. Next, you want to do a back post double crochet around this post. And then you want to do a double crochet into this chain space that you've created on the last round. Next, you want to chain one and do another double crochet into that chain space. And then we're going to do another back post double crochet. Then do three front post double crochets. And then we're going to finish off on the top of this leaf with another front post double crochet. So go ahead and continue that all the way across 
and you'll finish and start again with that same beginning pattern. And then when you reach the end, make sure you do your border and then chain two, come back and do your border and I'll meet you at the front of the next row. For this row, again, I will take you up to the leaf and then you'll repeat across to your border and then finish your border and come back. So to start this leaf pattern on this row, we're going to do three back post double crochets. And then we're going to do a front post double crochet, another front post double crochet, and then we're going to continue to increase this leaf. So we're going to do a double crochet into your chain space, chain one, and do another double crochet into that chain space, followed by two front post double crochets. Next, we're going to do four back post double crochets. Okay, now you want to repeat from the beginning right after this border. You're going to repeat this leaf pattern across until you get to the last border or to the end of the row where you have your border and then you're going to work your border on this side and the back and come across and then I'll meet you on the other side. I'm back on the wrong side of the work and I've completed the border so I'm after this back post double crochet. From here on out you'll repeat until your next border. Do three front post double crochets. Followed by three back post double crochets. And then again, you want to increase, so we're going to do a double crochet into the chain space. We're going to chain one and double crochet in the chain space. Then we're going to continue on with three back post double crochets. And then we want to do four front post double crochets. Go ahead and repeat that starting with, oops, I guess I need to do my fourth one. Go ahead and repeat that across, starting with your three front post double crochets and work into your leaf and then finish. Again, you're going to finish with your three front post double crochets. Finish what you started with. And then work on your border and I'll meet you back at the front of the next round. On the next row for your leaf pattern repeat, We're going to start with three back post double crochets. And then we're going to do four front post double crochets. We're going to do our final increase for this leaf. So we're going to do a double crochet into the chain space, chain one, double crochet, and do four front post double crochets. Next we want to do four back post double crochets.
Continue the leaf pattern across until you get to your border, then complete your border and I'll meet you back at the beginning of the leaf repeat on the next round. I wanted to hop back on really quick and make sure I let you guys know. I know that I said to work four back post double crochets here because you're working that fourth one as the, the top of this leaf. We don't have a leaf over here, so don't do four back post double crochets here, even though I said repeat the pattern. Once you finish your leaf here, you're going to just do three back post double crochets. So if that hasn't been totally clear up until this point, I wanted to make sure that I hopped on and said that. So once you finish this leaf, you're always going to frame this side with three back post double crochets. So even down here, you worked four back post double crochets and then you had three more. And that three will always be up, up the side of this leaf. So I hope that makes it clear. If you have any questions, let me know down below and I will be happy to answer them for you. For now, continue on and work your way back and I'll meet up with you on the back side over here. For your leaf pattern on this next row, we're going to start with three front post double crochets. Next, we're going to do 10 back post double crochets. So don't even worry about your chain space you created. You're just going to continue on through the posts and do 10 back post double crochets. Next, we're going to do four front post double crochets. Go ahead and repeat that pattern all the way across until your border. Again, you're going to end with the three front post double crochets, though, instead of four. We now get to start our decrease for the three leaf row. So we're going to do three back post double crochets. Next, we're going to do a front post double crochet decrease over the next two stitches. Then we want to do six front post double crochets. and then we're going to do a front post double crochet decrease. Again, at this point we want to do four back post double crochets. And then again we're going to repeat from the beginning with our three back post double crochets through the leaf and then do this top leaf Again, we're going to leave out that fourth stitch at the end here, so you're only going to do three back post double crochets here right before your border. This next row should be pretty easy, so we're going to do three front post double crochets. We're going to continue to decrease this leaf, so we're going to do a back post double crochet decrease. Remember to go around both stitches in that last decrease. And then we're going to do four back post double crochets.
And then we're going to do our final back post double crochet decrease over the next two stitches. Go ahead and do four front post double crochets. And then repeat that pattern across to your border, leaving only three front post double crochets before your border. We're now to the row where we're going to be adding in the stems again for these leaves. So go ahead and do your first three back post double crochets. And now we're going to decrease this leaf again. So we're going to do a front post double crochet decrease over the next two stitches. We're going to do two front post double crochets. And then finish that leaf with another front post double crochet decrease. Next we're going to do three back post double crochets. Then we're going to do a front post double crochet. So that'll be the stem of our next leaf. Go ahead and repeat this across and when you get to the end we'll do three back post double crochets before our border and we'll exclude the stem so don't put the stem in. Back on the wrong side we're going to do three front post double crochets. followed by a back post double crochet decrease over the next two stitches. And then another back post double crochet decrease. Then do three front post double crochets. followed by a back post double crochet. Repeat this pattern again all the way across to your border and leave out the last back post double crochet at the end. Okay, it should be looking something like this. On this next row we're going to start like usual with our three back post double crochets. Next we want to do a front post double crochet decrease over these two decrease stitches. So this will bring our leaf up to a point. Next we want to do three back post double crochets. And then we're going to do a front post double crochet into the stem. We're going to chain one and do another double crochet, I'm sorry, do another front post double crochet into that stitch. Now we're going to go ahead and repeat that across and again we're going to end with the three back post double crochet here. Back on the wrong side for this row, we're going to do three front post double crochets. Then we're going to do another front post double crochet over the last decrease stitch of the top of that leaf, followed by three more front post double crochets.
Next, we want to continue with our increase for this leaf, so we're going to do a back post double crochet, followed by a double crochet into the chain space, chain one, double crochet into that same chain space, and do a back post double crochet. Go ahead and finish that pattern across, finishing or ending before your border with three front post double crochets. Back on our right side, we're going to go ahead and do seven back post double crochets. We're going to continue to increase the leaf, so we're going to do a front, two front post double crochets, then we're going to double crochet into the chain space, chain one, double crochet in the chain space, and then do two more front post double crochets. Again, continue on with that till you get to the end of your round right before the border, and you're going to finish with seven back post double crochets. Back on the wrong side, we're going to start with seven front post double crochets. Okay, and now we're going to do three back post double crochets. Followed by a double crochet into your chain space, chain one, double crochet in your chain space, and three back post double crochets. Go ahead and continue the pattern across, ending with seven front post double crochets before your border. On to the right side, and we're doing our last increase for those leaves. So we're going to start with seven back post double crochets. Next, we're going to do four front post double crochets. Followed by a double crochet in the chain space, chain one, double crochet in the same chain space, and then do four front post double crochets. Go ahead and carry that pattern across until your border, ending with seven back post double crochets, and then complete your border. And I'll meet you back on the other side for the final repeat round. For our final repeat row, we're going to do seven front post double crochets. followed by 10 back post double crochets.
So go ahead and repeat that with the seven front posts, ten back posts, and end with the seven front post double crochets before you finish your border. Your project should now look something like this. What you need to do now is repeat this entire pattern two more times. So you'll have three of these leaf patterns total. And then once you repeat this twice, then come back here and I'll show you how I connect it so that we can make it an infinity cowl. Once you have your three repeats completed of your leaf pattern, we need to stitch our ends together. So what we want to do instead of stitching like this, you want to stitch by connecting right side to right side. Like this. And then we're just going to stitch across. Now you can use any join method you like. This is the method I prefer. It's just the easiest and quickest and the, st the seam doesn't look too bad when it's completed. So I'm going to just simply single crochet. Now the best way to do this as you're going across is to take these two loops closest to you. So instead of working in this back loop into your two top loops, we're going to take the two closest to you and then we're going to go to the two furthest away from you. So skipping this stitch here, we're going to go into those two, single crochet, and we're just going to continue that all the way across. So working in these two closest to you and joining to the two furthest away. So continue that all the way across and then when you get to the end just cut it off and weave in your ends and you'll be done. Once you complete your seam it'll look something like this on the inside and once you flip it out it should look something like this. You can definitely see the seam, but it's not insanely noticeable, so it's actually pretty nice. It should blend in pretty nicely in the back, and that's how the front will look.